Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Melissa, and today I want to do another video in my Mel's Inspiring Corner series. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about not conforming. But before we get on with this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It will be down below for people that are on the phone and for people watching on the laptop, it will be floating on the screen right here. Basically, if you subscribe, it just means that you get to see videos from me every single week and it notifies you every time. It's free, which is pretty cool, so I'd recommend subscribing. And nowadays I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so two uploads a week from me. So anyway, let's get started with the video. So recently, to be honest, I kind of had an experience that really showed me about conforming and the way that the world works. So basically, like probably around February, March time, I applied for this new college. Um, it's like a music college, like quite far away from where I live, but I applied for it anyway. At the time, I thought it was what I wanted. I wanted to be like a mainstream singer doing mainstream music and getting myself out there and stuff um, but recently since it's now September it was almost time to start this school so last week I went for the enrollment day I went to enroll and everything and I was getting on the train to go there and I was like this just doesn't feel right to me it really felt like the Holy Spirit was prompting me and just telling me like this doesn't seem right because my attitude about the college was just so negative and I don't know everything was just telling me like this is not right this is not what I'm meant to be doing now here in England I don't know how it is in other places but here in England they really really push you to get A levels and to get B tech and then go to university. So if you guys know me you would probably know that I'm the type of person that just likes to create stuff, I love practical stuff, I love doing YouTube, I love inspiring people and just creating my own music so for me I did GCSEs, I did AS levels but after that I was like you know what I don't like AS levels, I don't want to do A levels because they're just so hard and they're so boring and it's not what I want to do at all. And this music college was like AS levels all over again. So this course was very secular and the past me would have liked to do that but to be honest God has grown me extremely so much since I applied for that course and I think that's why I was feeling so negative about it because I've changed so much as a person all thanks to God and to be honest now I just want to go into worship music and that's where I really feel drawn to that's where I feel like God is drawing me to and also I love working on my YouTube channel as well this is a dream of mine and I love doing it so much and just being a light for Jesus and to just be someone who can spread positive vibes on YouTube so basically I decided not to do the course obviously the those are some of the reasons why but another reason why is because again it was secular it wasn't Christian worship music that I wanted to do so I decided to not conform and to step out of this box which society tends to put you in I decided to step out and now I'm here I'm not doing any education right now I'm just working on my YouTube working with my relationship with God and just having a great time so I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that if you're in a situation where you feel feel like you don't fit in and you don't want to do that like something's telling you that this isn't right for me then don't do it don't go along with the sheep and the 98% of people and just do what they're doing because God calls us to be unique he calls us to be in the world not of the world he calls us to be the 2% not the 98% of this world so if all your friends are smoking and drinking and that doesn't feel right to you then don't do it don't follow with the crowd just be yourself do what feels right to you you. Stand up for what you believe in. That is a quote that my mum has always told me and I've kind of grown up with it and I love that quote so much because it's so true. Like if you believe in something, don't be afraid to tell people. Don't be afraid to stand up and say and do what you believe in because in the end, you might not feel like you fit in, but you will feel like you made the right decision. As Christians, I think we're called to be in the world and just like spread the gospel, spread Jesus's light, just be a light for people and inspiration the people just love people I don't necessarily think that we're meant to fit in with everyone else and do everything that everyone else is doing because that just doesn't seem unique to me and as a person I just love to be unique and be the person that God has called me to be not the person that society is molding me into be so if you guys are a fan of my Mel's inspiring corner series I will link some more episodes up here in the cards section so you guys can watch more but in my series I like to try and include as much scripture as possible so Romans 12 2 
is a verse that has been sticking out to me so much recently, especially when all of that was going on with my new college and everything and enrollment. This verse was on my mind and I feel like God was really speaking this to me. So it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. This basically just describes my situation. I didn't conform to the pattern of this world and I was listening to God's command and what he had told me in the past and then I was able to test and approve God's will, his good and perfect will. So because I listened to what God had said in the past and his scripture, uh, the Holy Spirit was talking to me and he allowed me to use my discernment to see if I was meant to go to this college or not and I just didn't, it just didn't feel right to me. So yeah, I love this verse so much, it means a lot to me and it's one that I've always loved so much and I hold close to my heart. I don't know if you guys have watched God's Not Dead and God's Not Dead 2 but those are some of my favourite movies. I love how those movies encourage not conforming because like Josh, I think his name is, in the first one, he stands up for Jesus when the whole class just signed a piece of paper that said I don't believe in God, like God is dead but he was like I can't write that, I believe in Jesus so he stood up for himself, he stood up in front of his whole college like lecture class and he tried to prove the existence of God. That is so amazing, like to be honest it says in the bible when we stand up for God he will bless us and he sees when we stand up for him and he wants us to stand up for him. So if you're ever in a situation like that in school where everyone else is like oh I believe in evolution but you're like I really don't like and your heart is beating so fast don't be afraid to stick up your hand and be like I don't believe in evolution I believe that God created the world because God will be so happy with you if you stand up for him and he'll bless you so much and you'll just feel so much better that you stood up for Jesus because why would you not want to? He died for you and he loves you so much so why would you not want to stand up for him? Sorry the lighting is changing so much in this video it's because I'm using like the natural lighting for my window and it's changing like literally so much. So to end this video I just wanted to close with this verse that is really on my heart as well it's Psalm 37 4 it says take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up for me and subscribe down below. Also I have tons of social media so I'll put them on the screen right now and I'm posting like really frequently at the moment so it would mean a lot to me if you guys could follow me on there. So next time you're in a situation where you feel the need to conform but it doesn't feel right to you just stand up for yourself, stand up for God and I promise you you'll feel so much better. So I love you guys so much, believe in your dreams, God bless and I will see you soon. Bye!